So, uh, for a while now, I've kind of been hiding how important this today is going, this today, today is going to be, not just for me, but the entirety of my family. I didn't really want to give everything away because I really want to make sure everything I'm about to talk about was, you know, in place and ready to go. And now that it is, I just have uh, one question for all of you. And uh, please be honest. So, I like my outfit. <laughs> I know this is probably giving everyone some weird, crazy, like, thoughts as to what this means. But don't worry, I'll explain. Just uh, give me one moment to uh, sit down, shall I? My tree. Always undo the button when you're sitting down. So, this is probably one of the last things you would all ever expect to see me wear. <laughs> uh, okay, so before everyone accidentally assumes far too much, I want to emphasize, I am not getting married, okay? Like, I have been single the entire time. I have been making videos and years even before that. And at this moment, that has not changed. So you're probably wondering, why am I wearing such a very nice outfit? Well, as I have talked about before, you know, I was born and raised in the Catholic Church. And I've gone on and on for years about how, you know, growing up, I, uh, you know, I didn't really like going to church at all. You know, it was always so boring and you had to be quiet the entire time. And sometimes it seemed like it dragged on forever. And it just really wasn't my thing. That's why the instant I had an opportunity to go to public school instead of Catholic school, I immediately went to public school. Well, that and plus there was one really bad kid at Catholic school I really wanted to stay as far away from as possible. But needless to say, while I don't necessarily regret that decision, what I do regret is not really appreciating like all of the important aspects of the Catholic faith uh, more than I should, more than, I didn't really, my point is I didn't really appreciate everything until later. Wow, I'm just, uh, I'm not even that nervous either. That's the sad part. <laughs> As uh, I was saying, the way that it works is if you are born into the Catholic Church, you have to then what is known as, you have to then become known as what's being baptized. It's really just the priest, uh, you know, pouring a little bit of holy water over your forehead and, you know, 
simple as simple thing. Some some practices of baptism are a little more extreme. Like some people go in like in like in giant bodies of water and just like dunking their head in like that, or you know stuff like that. But obviously, the way I did it was, uh, you know, my father's holding me. The priest gets holy water, puts it over my forehead, and makes sign of the cross. That's it. So, after that happens, you're then usually assigned godparents. Now, I've mentioned this before, but my godparents are my aunt and my uncle that live out in the state of Colorado, who my aunt is actually here. My uncle sadly uh, got sick. Nothing serious, mind you. He just felt really sick, and so he couldn't get like on the plane. It was really sad too because like he was ready to go and everything. Not to mention, like before I continue, I just want to say Colorado is a great state, but having flown out of there before, I hate that part because my because they live out in Middleton. And Denver National Airport is like, or Denver International Airport's like an hour and 15 minutes away or something. And usually you get the earliest flight possible, which is at 6 a.m. So they gotta get up at like 2, leave their house at 3, in order to get there before 4, you know? It's, I mean, it's not an hour and 15, it, it, the point is it's still pretty far away. So that part isn't fun. And, uh, not just that, not just, you know, my godmother's here, but some of my cousins are here. Um, some of my aunts, some of my uncles, um, some of, uh, my brother's wife's, uh, family. Oh, yeah. I think it really specifies what's going on. So, um, a while back, it was finally decided that my brother and his wife were going to baptize all three of their children, my nephews. And it turns out they want me to be the godfather to one of them. So, uh, long story short, by the end of the day, I'm going to be a godfather. Don't worry, I'm not going to do the Marlon Brando thing. I'm not going to do that. I don't know how to do that voice very well. So no no worries there. I mean and here's my low for this. I really wasn't worried per se about whether or not I was gonna be a godparent. I mean I'm an uncle to three nephews who I love dearly. Being a godfather to any one of them is more than just a blessing in disguise. It's just in a perfect world, I'd rather be a godfather to all three. <laughs> That's really about it. But, you know, I'm gonna be surrounded by family. I, I just had a great spaghetti and meatball dinner with my family last night at my folks' place. It was wonderful. You know, we had garlic bread, salad, a certain happy hour item. Perhaps an hors d'oeuvre, if you will, that I don't want to talk about quite yet. I will at some point, but I want to wait a while before I do. But if you look at my social media and the uh, pictures on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you'll know what it is. And I finally was able to get, because the last time my mom had made spaghetti, it was actually during Lent. So all she could really do was just make, you know, spaghetti and, you know, Pasta sauce. We're a Prego family in our house. And, uh, you know, now I was able to have the spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread proper. You know, everything was exactly what I was looking and hoping for. And uh, if you actually look on um, my social media, one of the things I absolutely had to take a photo of was, uh, you know, my mom's, you know, meatballs. Specifically the components she uses to make the meat. 
the uh, you know spaghetti sauce because she uses prego, but she also um, gets uh, uh, pork ribs, Italian sausage. I think it's spicy Italian sausage, and she makes her own homemade meatballs. And you know she browns them and lets them stew in the sauce for you know hours until it's all good and hot and ready to eat. I never really, I talked about this in my mom food chronicle regarding my mom's spaghetti meatballs with garlic bread. But one thing I didn't emphasize is not only just how properly cooked all the meat components were, but just how meaty and tender the meatballs were. Because I legit tried this last night, first time ever by the way, just to see if it really did work. Long story short, my mom's meatballs were actually so tender I could cut them with a spoon. I literally took a shot of that. And you actually got a cross section to see that those meatballs are all thriller and no filler. So, uh, there you go. Plus it was all made with love and I was surrounded by family and more love, you know, last night. You know, it was great, you know. I got to my folks' place. My mom had just picked up my godmother and my cousin from the airport. And uh, we went for a little walk. Oh, the walk was wonderful. You know, just, just a couple of times around my folks' neighborhood. Nothing major. We got to look at everything. It was nice. It was real nice. And you know, we had happy hour. More of my family came. And, you know, throughout the night, it just got better and better. And that was just last night. That's that's not even like you know what? <laughs> it actually is kind of funny. I am wearing an outfit like this because I was about to make a comparison. Like last night was the rehearsal dinner. Like today is the big day. <laughs> not really. I mean, full disclosure. My mom already planned on um, having the baptism ceremony this morning. We go. We all have a brunch at my brother's place. We go to church at five o'clock this evening. Yeah, so I'm gonna be going to church twice today. Well, it won't be the set. No, I haven't gone to church twice in one day since Christmas Day. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Oh, a little annoying, but it's also kind of fun. But yeah, I'm going to church at five and my mom wanted to get uh, Emilio's pizza for dinner tonight. So, Technically, we would have had the better dinner last night. Just because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Vanilla's Pizza, one of the best in my area. Arguably the best in my area. Wire recording, horse heads, you name it. It can't compare to my mom's cooking. I mean, my mom made spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread and yum salad. Because you got to have healthy vegetables, you know. Um, and for dessert, I gotta once again thank the lovely folks over Peas Macarons, always coming in clutch when needed. There is a reason why I always consider them the best in my area, and that is fact. And, uh, for those who didn't want macarons, my mom also made Rice Krispie Treats. That's also a mom food I should probably talk about one day. I mean... It really wouldn't be much of a mom food chronicle. Well, I'm sure I could probably jury rig it to be a mom food chronicle if I really put my mind to it. The only thing I'm really worried about is I've been mom food chronicle about the large crispy treats. And if I ever did make this, you'd hear this then too. Rice crispy treats really aren't that hard to make. The only reason why I never really made them is because making them never really interested me. Don't get me wrong, I like Rice Krispie Treats, and if they're there, yeah, I'll have them, sure. But, trust me, they're not that hard to make. But that's a, that's a video for a different day. So, I guess my low is the fact that, you know, I mean, in a perfect world, yeah, I'd be a godfather to all three of those children, but... That's not my call. That's my brother and his wife's call. I have no say in 
any of that. You know, they made their they made their decisions on who's the, who the best is going to be. Oh, I should probably explain. Um, myself and my sister in law's sister will be the godfather to one of the boys, the youngest one. Meanwhile, two of my cousins, my uh, cousin on my cousin from Colorado and my cousin from uh, Wellesley, Massachusetts, are going to be the godparents to another, another one of the twins, and the other twin is going to be is going to have um, my sister-in-law's brother and his wife be godparents to that one. So uh, there you go. All three children are going to get godparents today, and uh, I'm going to be a godfather today. <laughs> you know. Um, By all accounts, this is meant to be, you know, life changing. Like, really, I should be completely, I should be a complete nervous wreck by now. But, I'm not. I mean, maybe it's all these years I've been like, you know, making videos and stuff and therefore I become a little more carefree, as you've probably noticed over time. But, even though I don't look it, I really am taking this seriously. In fact, um, I actually wanted to end the video with, uh, you know, this. And I'll be posting something like this uh, later when I uh, drop the inevitable photo dump. And that's this. You know, all my life, it really has never been, what, as one would say, you know, perfect. I mean, growing up, I grew up in, you know, a nice, you know, respectable home with a brother and a mother and a father who loved me very much. But everything else in life really was never that, what you would say, kind. You know, I've been depressed. I've been rejected. I've been made fun of. I've had my heart broken. And at one point, it even came down to when I had indeed contemplated suicide. And was relatively close to making that happen. Not having done that, I really had gone through life not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Even when I make videos now, like, I have no idea what I'm doing here either. Okay, that's not true. I know what I'm doing here. I'm making a video to, you know, entertain you all. But, you know, when I first, you know, hit record on January 1st, 2018, all that time ago, I had no idea what I was doing. I just uploaded a not even two minute video up to Facebook thinking, you know, Something, you know, if it's bad, I'll never do it again. If people like it, I'll keep doing it. And here we are, 1,575 days later. And I'm still doing this. And even though there have been great moments in my life, like me running four marathons, or doing four 100 mile bike rides for charity, or making all these videos, or getting myself a college degree, becoming a nationally certified phlebotomist for a time. You know, all those great accomplishments. While I will admit, I understood the magnitude of how great they were, 
I still always felt as if there was something that couldn't quite satisfy me. Now, I used to think that the way that would really make me feel like self-worth, to make me feel like, okay, I was meant to be on this earth to do so-and-so, or do this, or be with so-and-so, or whatever. That first part actually kind of sounded a little bit awkward, but you hear me out. Then I know I would get that satisfaction. And I thought one of those ways was finally completing an Ironman. I mean, again, I ran four marathons and did four 100 mile bike rides for charity. You know, why not? I thought I, you know, had that special someone in my life by now. But I don't have that either. So for many years, I was asking myself, what am I still doing here? What is my reason for being here still? And it happened not once, but twice. On November 7th, 2019, and then August 23rd, yeah, I think it was in 23rd, 20, no, no, it was the 24th, August 24th, 2021. Those are the days that my nephews were born. And for a long time, you know, I had felt so empty that I don't have a clue what love is anymore. I only just barely have an idea of what happiness is. But you know what, that's fine. You don't necessarily need to be happy to exist. You know, you can be content that you exist. You know, I have my mom and my dad who, even though, believe me, there have been times where it's been so bad, I couldn't even say, I love you, or I could not say the words, I love you to them anymore. You know, they were still there. I still have my brother and my sister-in-law and her family. Her family is awesome. And there are some friends who've had my back, absolutely. But when those three boys were born, it was then I told myself, I will know what happiness is again. And days like today, Further emphasize that, so much so, I can't even begin to describe how beautiful it is. So, uh, yeah. Probably, yeah, you can say I look, you know, goofy and what people would, some people would consider this a monkey suit, but you know what? Personally, I look pretty darn good to me. I just say I clean up pretty, personally, I like to think I do a pretty good job cleaning up, but you know, that's up for interpretation. And again, I'm not really gonna get any kind of opinion until uh, you see me. I can't see you at all. I'm just, seriously, all I'm doing is looking at the camera right now. But those boys are the reason why I know what happiness is again. And days like today just are further proof of that. So um, to my three nephews, this is dedicated to you. Your Uncle Nick loves you, by the way. You're going to be baptized today. You're going to be surrounded by lots of family and love and just good vibes all around you. And your family's gonna be for with you. They're gonna be for you. They're gonna support you for all the days of your life, including yours truly. But just know that 
in the darkest of hours, when it really feels as if happiness is but a fleeting concept, I want you to be happy knowing that you are the reason why I'm happy again. I still don't have a perfect life. I still don't have someone in my life to, for which you can call aunt, whoever. But being the reason why you make me happy is the reason why I stay. And I want that to be your reason why you stay too. So, um, I guess it's a little too late to say my act of kindness was the dedication of this video to, uh, well, actually, yeah, last time I saw my mom cook and clean everything. So, yeah, I did that. But, know that I am very humbled. I made this video, well, really for all of you to watch, but one day when my boys are old enough to navigate the internet and go on social media, you know, I'll be very humbled knowing that, you know, I got to see them be able to, you know, live long enough to do that. Personally, I'm hopeful I even find my YouTube videos at all. <laughs> That'd be something. And as obviously, I hope, well, I'm, I'm pretty confident today's going to be a good day, but I'm still hopeful that we all have a good day. And uh, remember, if anyone's feeling down, I was there too. So if you have anything to say, I'll always be here to listen. So uh, have a nice day and uh, make good choices. I will. And, uh, I gotta get going. The ceremony is at 9 o'clock this morning at 7.30. I mean, it's not that it's far away or anything, just, you know. Yeah. If you don't know me by now, then you know I like to do things early. <laughs> Have a nice Saturday, everyone. And, uh, actually, it is Earth Day, too, so, uh, happy Earth Day, too. <laughs>